In this lesson, we will learn how to draw objects while snapping to existing geometry. To snap to existing geometry, we are going to enable the running object snap mode, or running O snaps. The O snap button is located in the status bar. I can select the button to turn it on. However, even though it's on, I really have no idea which specific object snaps are on. So I must click the drop down arrow next to it to see the full menu. Any object snaps that are enabled will have a check mark next to them. If I wish to add any other ones, I can simply select them in the list and they will be enabled. When working with running object snaps, it's important to find the balance between having the object snaps you need, but not too many that it causes conflict in your drawings. To close the object snap menu, you can either click in the drawing screen or you can click the drop down arrow located next to the button. I will begin the line command. When drawing with running object snaps, we will see several different symbols on screen known as auto snap markers. Each object snap has its own auto snap marker. For example, endpoint shows up as a square. I can now draw while snapping to endpoints of existing objects. Note that I'm pressing escape to cancel the line and the spacebar to repeat the command in each case here. So very quickly I was able to construct those lines. Next I want to put a grid on these windows by snapping to their midpoints. So as you can see the midpoint auto snap marker is a triangle. Once more, I can very easily snap to these endpoints, and I will use my workflow of escape to cancel, spacebar to repeat each time. And escape to cancel again. You may remember that I turned on center object snaps as well as quadrant object snaps. I want to finish this top window by drawing to its quadrants. As you can see, the auto snap marker for quadrants is a diamond. Once more, I'll escape and spacebar to repeat to start the command again, and then escape to cancel. Next, we'll take a closer look at the center object snap. I have some existing circles, and I want to construct some new circles at the same center points. I begin by starting the circle command. And as you can see, the object snap marker for center is a circle. So I'll select the center of this circle and specify a diameter value, in this case 4. I'm going to repeat the process on the right side, spacebar to repeat the command, I'll select the center, and then I will press enter to draw a circle of the same size. Notice that as I'm drawing the circle, these quadrant snaps kind of get in the way. If I don't have a need for the quadrant snap, it's probably best to go turn it off so I can find my center easier. At this point, it's important to note that modifying object snaps is what we call a transparent command. This means we're able to do it without canceling the existing command. I've already begun the circle command, but I'm not going to cancel out of it. I can simply just come down, select the drop down next to O snap, and turn off the snap that I do not want. Be careful though, I don't want to press escape here because that would cancel the circle command. Instead, I will just click the drop down next to the O snap button and return to the drawing. So once more, I'm going to snap to the center of this particular circle and specify a diameter value in this case 6. Next, I want to construct some tangent lines. So I'm going to adjust my O snap settings and add tangent to the list. I begin the line command, and note that even though I have tangent turned on, I'm not seeing it, I'm only seeing the center. Therefore, I will need to modify my O snap list and turn center off. Now I can see the tangent snap. So as you can see, the auto snap marker looks like a tangent circle in line. Notice the little ellipses and the fact that I'm able to move my mouse around anywhere. Basically what AutoCAD is telling me here is that I can create a tangency, but it doesn't know the exact tangent point until I've selected the other endpoint. 
So I'll click somewhere along the top of this circle, and then somewhere along the top of the next circle. Then escape. As you can see, it constructed the tangent line. So I'll repeat the workflow again, spacebar to repeat, tangent, tangent, escape, spacebar to repeat, tangent, tangent, escape. Next, we will take a look at two other object snaps, node and perpendicular. In this particular drawing, we've got some points that were constructed to help us locate a skylight. To snap to points, I will need to enable the node snap. Additionally, I want to draw from that point perpendicular to the roof, so I will select the perpendicular snap as well. While it might not be totally necessary, I will remove the other object snaps just to make sure it works exactly the way that I want. I begin the line command, and as you can see, here is my symbol for the node snap. After selecting that, I can come to the line, and now you can see the perpendicular snap. It looks like the right angle symbol. So I'll escape from there, and then just start my line command again, connect my points, and once again draw perpendicular to the roof here, then escape. Next we will look at two more object snaps, intersection and geometric center. I'm going to modify my object snap settings to turn off perpendicular and node, and turn on intersection and geometric center. First, I'm going to create a circle at each intersection of these magenta lines. So I begin my circle command, and as you can see, the intersection symbol is going to be an X. So I'll select the intersection point here and specify a value. Once more, I can press the space bar to repeat and repeat this workflow multiple times to create one at each intersection. Next, I would like to create a circle at the center of this polygon. I begin my circle command, and as you can see, we have the geometric snap here. When working with the geometric snap or the center snap, you don't necessarily have to move to the actual center point. You can just click on the object itself to locate it. I'll type in a value such as 1.5 and press enter. Then I'll repeat the process again. Once more, geometric center. This time I'll actually move in and click on the center and then type in my value and press enter. So to recap, when working with running object snaps, we simply select the drop-down, choose the object snaps that make the most sense for the drawing that we're doing, select the drop-down again to close it, make sure the button is turned on, click on it if necessary, then just simply start your line command or whatever drawing command you want to use and begin snapping to objects. That concludes this look at drawing with running object snaps in AutoCAD.